Wind and waves battered the coast Tuesday afternoon, the third of three high tides to hit during the nor'easter, closing roads on several stretches of Route 1A from Hampton to Rye. A lot of the uh, rocks could be considered boulders that came from uh, seawalls in barriers that are set up to try to prevent the water. Roads reopened once the tide receded and debris was cleared. Some seawalls will need to be shored up, part of learning to adapt here. We coordinate with Public Works ahead of time and the, the DOT to kind of put some of that equipment in, uh, in the, those areas that we expect to possibly see a problem. The most damage in Rye Harbor when a barge broke loose and struck a dock. Otherwise, the flooding on some streets along the marsh in Hampton considered minor by local standards. The head of the state's coastal program says high tide flooding is happening more frequently than many realize. It's really, you know, 40 percent of the days of the year some of those side streets are starting to flood and that with sea level rise will will definitely increase in frequency. And when coupled with storms? Those storms that we get every year are going to be happening on average on higher tides, which means that the flooding that we see from those storms will be more damaging. Now, the Hampton Beach Area Commission is holding a symposium on Tuesday to d discuss some of the works in progress aimed at building coastal resilience. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.